This film will show you why it is essential for cattle farmers to use a BVD vaccine that protects against the birth of calves persistently infected with the BVD virus, or PIs, as they are more commonly known. BVD can affect the immunity of healthy cattle and result in clinical signs of diarrhoea and respiratory disease. However, if a cow is pregnant at the time of infection, then transplacental infection can result in infertility, abortions and fetal abnormalities depending on the time the fetus is infected during pregnancy. In the first four months of pregnancy, the immune system of the fetus is not yet fully developed and infection during this period can result in tolerance towards the BVD virus. This means the virus is not attacked by the calf's immune system. As a result, the calf becomes persistently infected with the BVD virus and is known as a PI. The mother cow develops natural immunity. PI calves shed large numbers of viruses and play a crucial role in spreading BVD. Compared to a transiently infected animal, PIs will shed up to 1,000 times more virus and therefore have a much larger impact on the health status of the herd. Through contact with a PI, considerably more animals from the herd are exposed to BVD virus and become infected. Also, due to the increased permanent presence of the BVD virus in the herd, many more pregnant cows are now exposed to it. Infection with BVD during pregnancy can result in reproductive disorders such as infertility, abortion and fetal abnormalities. However, the continuous exposure of BVD can result in the formation of new PIs depending on the stage of gestation at the time of infection. These new PIs, in their turn, will now infect many more animals in the herd. Moreover, persistently infected mother animals always give birth to persistently infected calves, further accelerating the distribution of the pathogen. In order to prevent the BVD virus from spreading through the herd and to effectively limit financial losses, the farmer's target has to be to protect unborn calves from becoming persistently infected carriers of the virus. This can be done by means of vaccination. Protection against fetal infection is critical for effective disease control. Without fetal protection, persistently infected calves continue to be born, spreading the BVD virus. Fetal protection with a vaccine capable of preventing transplacental infection is the only way to stop the excessive spreading of BVD virus through persistently infected carriers. Vaccines providing fetal protection are the key element of a successful BVD control strategy. Bovillus BVD is licensed to provide fetal protection and will help to prevent new PIs in your herd. To eradicate BVD, remove PIs from the herd, maintain a high level of biosecurity, monitor your herd to ensure it stays clear of BVD, and finally, vaccinate with Bovillus BVD to prevent new PIs in your herd. The BVD virus is proven to circulate in herds for up to five years, even in the absence of PIs. Therefore, it is essential to continue vaccinating after PIs are removed to prevent the BVD virus from circulating. Continuing to vaccinate with Bovillus BVD will help to prevent the formation of new PIs and is an important step to help with the eradication of BVD from the national herd.